Hello, my name's Emma Dye Dutch and I play for Croydon Roller Derby. Um, well, obviously, um, with it being a contact sport, injuries do occur. Um, so, I mean, we get bruises after pretty much every training session, um, some worse than others. Um, and then, obviously, there's things like broken bones, torn ligaments, pulled muscles. Well, there's quite a few different things. Obviously, we've got all the protective equipment. We've got a helmet, gum shield, wrist guards, elbow pads, knee pads. Some people um, choose to wear uh, shin pads. Before you're actually allowed to play roller derby, you have to have basics. Be have passed your basic skills, um, which is basically um, the basic skills is a list of things that you have to be able to do before you can actually play roller derby. Um, so therefore, like you're not just a beginner going and playing roller derby and going to get hit off the track by a more experienced player. Before you're put in that situation, you'll learn how to hit, you'll learn how to take a hit, how to fall safely, um, how to stop. It basically covers the basic skills covers pretty much everything that you need to do and you need to demonstrate that you can do it at a certain level before you're allowed to actually play roller derby. Um, I've had a few bruises, um, a couple of knocks here and there um, but my worst injury so far would be um, concussion. We were playing a jam and I'm not really too sure what happened but I hit my head on the floor um, and I got up and I was fine um, and then we went to get the coach home and I started feeling quite peculiar. I couldn't walk in a straight line, um, I couldn't see properly, I had headaches, earache. Um, we started driving home and I um, and I started getting pins and needles like in my hands, like spreading up both arms um, and then I started getting pins and needles in the side of my face um, at which stage I started to panic. Um, and my coach um, called an ambulance to come and meet um, to come and meet us, um, and I was taken to Peterborough Hospital. It was really scary because um, at one stage, um, when I was like in in hospital, I couldn't. I was telling my body to do things like I was like lift your arm up, and and I couldn't lift my arm up, and and I did get very scared at, at that stage. <laughs> it was quite scary, and then I felt a bit groggy for about a week afterwards, but. But that was that. The helmets that we, we use um, are designed so that once they take a big impact that they should really be replaced. So obviously after that happened I had to replace my current helmet um, and my team very kindly after my accident did a did a collection for me and brought me a new helmet. So unfortunately that one hasn't taken any severe knocks so far. <laughs>